you want to know how computers work. Let's first look at things from the nutshell. Computer works in three basic steps, input, process, and output. What happens in the input process? This is where you insert data into the computer using various devices like keyboards and a mouse. Those are considered your input devices. A good example would be using a calculator from your PC by inputting numbers and adding them. The two numbers are your data values, they are meaningless facts or raw facts. This is where processing comes in, where the two numbers get added and you can expect your output in less than a second depending on the speed of your machine. Then the result of this calculation should appear as output. But how does the calculation get processed? When you open your standard computer case, you get a few main components like hard drives which store permanent data, optic drives where you can insert external optical disks and power supply which convert AC current to DC current that computer components use. These components all have cables that carry signals to the motherboard. Think of the motherboard as headquarters. A motherboard has a special component that does all the computer tasks. We can think of it as the brain of a computer. We call it the CPU which stands for Central Processing Unit. This part is responsible for processing our data and returning the result, but how does this happen? CPUs do nothing more than perform calculations. Consider the Abacus as the oldest computer. And these were the next generation computers and all it did was perform calculations. The computer can only understand zeros and ones or binary, which mean high and low in terms of voltages. Your CPU receives instructions from the RAM or random access memory, which is a component that stores temporary memory. This memory gets lost once you switch off your computer unless you save it to the hard drive or permanent memory. All signals get converted to binary and stored in the RAM, ready to be utilized by the CPU. Transistors in a processor chip interpret the ones and zero signals as high and low voltages, and that's how computers understand binary. Once the CPU gets signals, it performs calculations and returns the result. The results will be a binary representation. This results can be converted to either graphics, text, decimals, and even sound waves. The result you get after this will take place in the output step. If you enjoyed this video, please be kind enough to leave a like and subscribe to keep this channel running and let me know in the comments if you'd like me to cover any concepts in the next video. Thank you.